MailChimp is a creative company that gives other companies digital tools to grow in their own creative ways. So when it came time to introduce themselves to targeted audiences, they did it in their own original way. By saying hi to the world with not one, not two, but nine uniquely engaging experiences. They were all very different, but had one thing in common. They all kind of sounded like MailChimp. And they designed a paid search campaign so that no matter which experience piqued your interest, you'd find your way back to MailChimp. First, they caught the attention of cinema goers when they released three short films in theaters nationwide. Mail Shrimp, Jail Blimp, and Kale Limp. Then they turned their attention to the music world. They made Whale Synth, a real musical instrument made entirely out of whale noises, and put together Veil Him, a musical collaboration between Dev Hines and Brendan Cook that spawned a hit single and a sexy interactive music video. They gave nail art influencers a worldwide platform to battle for the ultimate title of Nail Champ, created hair and beauty trends like the male crimp and snail crimp that were so ridiculous they actually caught on, Snaily. and invented fail chips, an actual snack food made from crushed potato chips. They dropped amazing things into every part of culture, and then they waited for the right people to pick them up. Rolling Stone and Pitchfork featured Veil Him on their front pages and raved about them within hours of their release, leading to nearly 2 million streams. French Vogue, Paper Magazine, and The New Yorker couldn't get enough of the hottest hair trend, the male crimp. Well Synth hit the big time with industry insiders like experimental rock god Brian Eno. Nail Champ had an audience of over a million nail art fans. And then they gave away over 200,000 bags of fail chips, infiltrating foodie culture and inspiring recipes from famous chefs. You see, MailChimp knew that to reach a very specific audience, the most direct path isn't always the most obvious one. They also knew that if you made something unique enough for that audience, they'd search for it and make their way back to MailChimp, where the brand's message was clear. Doing things your way isn't really just more fun. It's good business, especially when you know how the internet works.